you were sitting up there in turn three with a car on top of you, did you think you had any chance of winning this race? No, I didn't really think about it too much at the time. I didn't know how much damage we had, and I got out and crawled around. It was just basically a nose wing and a little bit of bent-up sheet metal. Looks like you're running two different races out there. The three got close to you, and then you pulled away again. Was the car changing a lot, or is that the way you were driving it? No, the car changed actually a couple times. It seems like after the red, the car sort of came alive before that. I was pretty, pretty loose getting into the turn, and uh, I had to put a lot of front brake in the car, and um, it actually just got tighter and tighter, so I tried to get some rear brake in it at the end, and I was pretty concerned with Sweeney in the open track because they, the Newhawk cars are really fast on their own, so I didn't want them to get away from me. And, you know, I mean... Um, you know, Brian's been out for a number of years. He's doing a heck of a job there. But, I mean, to go through lap traffic like that, I knew that was the place I had to get him. Brian, it looked like there were a couple of three wide passes on the back stretch. One that went to your advantage, one that didn't. How hairy was it back there? Uh, a little bit more than I wanted. It was really slippery at the end. Um, but we knew from practice yesterday, and we found a whole bunch out shock-wise. And um, about five weeks ago, we lost all forward bite in this car. And... We have it back, and now that we've actually completed two features, which isn't very impressive for the year, uh, we got a lot more information to work with, so I think we'll be in good shape the rest of the season. The car was good. It was, you know, it was neutral. It was, it'd stay on the bottom, but every time we tried to push a little harder, she got loose on me, so we just tried to ride it out and avoid all the accidents. We got away with it this week. Danny, you looked like you worked up a pretty good sweat. You were so happy to finish third here about five or six weeks ago. Now what do you feel like? Speechless. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. The car was really good. We made some adjustments for the feature, and the car was great. I, I don't know. That's awesome. It's awesome. I don't even know what to say. On that restart going into turn one, you had company right beside you. When do you decide to back off, and when do you decide to punch it and go for it? Um, I, I was leading 30 laps, and nobody showed me a wheel. and. Um, I seen the caution come out. Well, the caution come out with five to go, and I was going for it. Um, he got into me a little bit, but hey, he's going for his first win too. Um, luckily, I was on this end of it, so uh, I know he's going for it. He's trying just as hard. Uh, you know, Mikey's a good, clean driver, so he's gonna go for it. Uh, I knew a speedy drive was gonna make it, make it interesting coming off of four, and felt like I got underneath him. I thought maybe he saw me, and at the last second, I didn't think he did, and. And uh, I think I started to back out. I, I should have wrecked or checkered it. That was my idea now that I'm out. But Danny Epp, he's, he's rookie. He's doing a heck of a job. Got a great car. He's got a great crew and team behind him. So congratulations to, to Danny Epp on his first feature win. Well, you did a great job yourself in a different car. You like that car? You going to keep it for a while? Uh, I don't know about keeping it for a while, but we're going to talk about doing something for the few, few rest of the weeks because our engines can... Our engine's completely cooked, so uh, we're going we're gonna to figure out something, try something. We're going to try working out something. Well, a great job tonight for Mike Bruce, second place. Good job, Mike. I got to give a special thanks to Carly, Chris Hegarty, HRW Construction, Chris Ted, my father, um, Tommy, Eric, Glenn, all my sponsors, Woodchuck Saloon, uh, Millennium Music, uh, Invogue Hair Salon, HRW Construction. I'm forgetting a bunch of them. Um, Zinc Inc., all the people that helped us out today with this car, Jim Lacerdo, uh, I can't thank these guys enough. They let me hop in their car two, two times this year after I had a wreck race car. It's a great group of people I get to work with. The, the, pl the flights up are a little shorter, it seems like now. It's, uh, no, that was a heck of a night. I remember the first uh, win I had as a rookie, so that's got to be awesome for Danny, and congrats to him, and congrats to Mike, too. He ran well. Uh, really, all three of us have struggled the first part of the year, so hopefully this is our part of the season, the end half here.